Welcome to this Warhammer Quest uh, example. Uh, I've played lots of, sort of AD&D and stuff like that before, uh, but I've never actually tried Warhammer, so I was quite interested in this game uh, when I saw it on the App Store. So I thought I'd get hold of this. Um, this is quite a sort of straightforward uh, turn-based game, uh, which in itself makes it quite interesting. The graphics are quite good, there's some good quests and loads and loads of sub-quests uh, and a whole heap of uh, levels and uh, equipment to get. So this is the first level, Squashing Bugs. Uh, and being turn-based, uh, you can move a certain number of squares. Uh, there'll be no monsters attacking, uh, it's not an action player, it's no monsters attacking uh, until you sort of um, finished your turn and you press the end turn button. So here we've got uh, one of the fighters is a bit behind because just the starting positions uh, are a bit of a pain. Uh, magic user there has got, so you can see, six power top left. Uh, so you can use that to um, do healing or buffs or attacking spells. Uh, so we're working, when you get these double arrows, that's the next section. Sometimes it's an attack, here we are. We have five giant spiders. So the good thing is they're not going to suddenly jump on you. You can actually get into position and have a little thing, a bit of strategy. So I've got a fighter attacking two of them. Uh, at these low levels you get one attack each, but obviously as you go through the levels then you start getting multiple attacks. So that's one gone. Each one will give you experience and uh, a certain amount of gold. And I'm going to use uh, the archer's going to fire. These spiders are crazy to sort of hit and kill. And looking at the magic user, hasn't really got enough magic from the offensive spell at this stage, so he can't do a lot. The spider will miss. If it does hit you, then it covers you in a web and you get taken out of combat for the next round. Don't seem to do much damage. So here's the archer. When something's in close next to him, he'll attack rather than use his bow. Uh, and, auto and automatically, if you hit something, then and there's a chance to actually try and attack the, uh, the, the enemy next to you as well, which can be very handy. So you can actually get through quite a few enemies very quickly. Because my archer has attacked this round, he can't move, whereas the others can. So we're actually going to start and get a bit separated here, unfortunately. Uh, the others can start rushing off, um, and my archer, who is an elf, is uh, behind now. And there is a problem if you end turn and you suddenly get surrounded in monsters, you're getting a bit of a problem because you're getting separated here. Magic user can't do much with his magic because we haven't. There's nothing to attack at the moment, and uh, none of us are taking any damage, so uh, a bit of a waste. But that's what happens. So the elf can. I think to have a move on place more than anyone else, so he'll gradually catch up. So here we go, another turn. All we can do is we can just about get in here, I think. No, oh, no, next turn. Oh, there we go. There's a lot of jumping. I'm using reflector here, and unfortunately, I'm um, sorry about this, it's uh, jumping a bit, but it does settle down pretty soon. So we're just trying to get the elf a bit closer before we go into this next bit, because more often than not, there's a big fight. So in here we have four giant spiders, yay! Uh, and a few rats. Nothing to be worried about at this level there. Very easy to get rid of. And I think that's the end of the jumping there. So here we go, attacking. He does that so he automatically gets another attack in. Fighters are pretty well there. It's easy to get rid of spiders. Archer's going to try and attack again. So yes. You can see in the top right, when you're attacking something, its specs come up. And so here we are, that, sh that shadow bolt was quite good in that it attacks the middle square and all the ones around it, so you could attack up to nine creatures at once with that. Here we are, so I've been attacked now, and that fighter has been taken out, effectively, of combat. Thankfully that missed, it could have done a bit of damage. Sometimes also the fighters get an automatic comeback as well if they've been attacked. Uh, they can actually retaliate. Uh, so that's here we go again. So that's quite nice to um, thin out the opposition. The berserker has gone berserk, so he gets an extra attack this round. Should be quite straightforward now, really. To use her. Didn't do a lot there. Didn't kill it. But fighter comes in. There you 
you go. Uh, and then at the end of combat, you often get stuff that's dropped and you can sell at the market. And here's numbers we've killed, uh, and that gives experience. Uh, if a character is killed, this is on normal mode, if a character is killed, um, they just don't get the experience. They'll come back for, and they, you can carry on with them in the adventure. So we've got 50 gold for that sort of dungeon and now we can fast forward to the late, to the town. And this is the first town you're at. There's about nine towns and cities and villages. Sometimes you can get waylaid on the way but we've got that in one piece. Uh, and then you get a main quest to each of them. And there's a nice little animation which shows you how the town or the villages are set up. Anyway, if you like this, if you'd like to see more, then please like it and or subscribe and or post comments. Uh, and I can carry on with the next set of quests uh, and upload more. Thanks for watching.